Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another interesting linked list related problem and the title is next greater note in linked list. This problem is taken from lead code and let us try to discuss and understand what is the algorithm we can follow for solving this particular problem. But before that, let us try to understand the problem. We are given a linked list with head as the first node. Let's number of nodes in the list node 1, node 2, node 3 up to node n. Okay, whatever. Uh, we will be only given the head. We don't know the length. Okay, because in linked list, a length can be anything. It has no uh, predefined uh, length uh, like array, right? So each node must have a next large value for node i. Next large node i is the node j dot val. That is, we are uh, getting that value corresponding to node j, which is greater than the value uh, stored in node i, such that j greater than i and node j dot val greater than node j, uh, node i dot val. Okay, and j is the smallest possible choice. If such a j ex does not exist, then next large value should be 0. Return an array of integers where answer of i equal to next large node of i plus 1. Okay, note that um, in the example uh, not outputs below, uh, in the example not outputs below, uh, example input, array such that 215 represents serialization of linked list with a head node of value 2, second node value 1, third node value 5. Okay, so this may uh, look complicated from if you go through the problem statement, better to go with the example. See, input is 215. So, my first node has the value 2, second node has the value 1, third node has the value 5. So after 2, what is the next greater element? 5. So 5 has to be printed. After 1, what is the next greater element? 5. So 5 has to be uh, given in this array. And after 5, what is the next greater element in the right hand side? Nothing. So that is 0. Like that. 2, 7, 4, 3, 5. So for 2, next greater is 7. For 7, next greater is nothing. So 0. For 4, next greater is 5. For 3, next greater is 5. For 5, there is no such next greater element, so that's 0. Okay? So, how you can write the code? Very simple. Uh, working with linked list a bit difficult. So, what we will do? We will traverse our uh, linked list from the beginning to the end and we will extract all the uh, value of each node and we will store that in one array list and then we will perform the same operation in the array list. Okay, how you can perform, suppose this is one array, 215, and how you can find next greater element? Very simple, I will do, uh, I will use one for loop for iteration of this, uh, iteration in this array from the beginning to the end, and another for loop uh, starting from i plus 1 to the end uh, to get the next greater element. As soon as I get next greater element, I will break that inner for loop. That's all. So here is the code. Let me explain. So class solution, okay, public int array. So that our return type should be array. Next large nodes. Okay, this is our function name and list node head. We are passing the uh, head of our linked list. Okay, and here is the code is written. Okay, that is list node that is int val and list node next. As you know that for each node there are two parts. One is value, another one is uh, uh, that is uh, reference to the next uh, node, right? And list node index. This is here we are using the constructor of list node val equal to x. We are giving the value uh, as x in this particular node which we, which will create. Okay, that's that is the normal uh, code we write for node also, right? Instead of list node, generally we use the uh, name node here they are using list node nothing else okay so basically what i am doing i am first creating an empty array list array list integer a equal to new array list integer to store all the data elements or value uh, of the linked list in this array so list node p equal to head generally uh, Sometimes we do mistake like this. We generally are habituated with uh, writing node p equal to head. But see, the name of this particular class is list node, okay, which is creating the node. So that we have to link uh, list node here. List node p equal to head. Why I am doing that? Because for our thing, if you if you use while head not equal to null and you are uh, shifting the head and after the end of the execution of uh, the while loop your head will appear at the last node so as a result you will uh, lost your head 
of the linked list so that better not to uh, lost that so that i am storing that head in another node and i am using that node for iteration or for moving from beginning to the end of the linked list so while p not equal to null a dot at p dot cell so i am extracting the value part of each and every node and i am storing that in the a array list p equal to p dot next i am shifting my uh, you know, pointer to the next node that's all so now here i told you see we have to return the array so that i am creating one array which we, which we are going to return int b equal to new int a dot size because obviously the length of the array is going to be same length as the number of nodes present in the linked list or we can say number of the size of our this array list because array list is storing only the elements of that linked list right so uh, size of the array list is same as number of nodes in present in the linked list so that should be the size of our array which are going to return after processing okay so int b equal to new int a dot size now int temp equal to 0 int gemp equal to 0 i am initializing two variables later you will understand the use of this now as i told you suppose 2 and 5 what i will do i will start iteration from the beginning to the end so for that i am using this outer for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot size i plus plus and i am extracting each and every element uh, in the in this array that is int m equal to a dot get of i now what i will do suppose my first extracted element is 2 now i will start iteration so here i equal to 0 right so i will start iteration from i plus 1 to the end and i will check if i am getting some element which is greater than this particular element or not if i am getting i will uh, store that in my this array which uh, b array which we are going to return otherwise i have to put 0 okay and as soon as we will get the next greater element we have to get no otherwise the maximum greater element uh, shift, uh, situated in the right hand side not the next greater okay okay, okay right so for int j equal to i plus 1 j less than a dot size j plus plus if m less than a dot get of j that means we if we find that greater element b of temp equal to a dot get of j jump equal to 1 break so we are breaking that why I am initializing gem pickle to one? Because sometimes it may happen that we may not find any greater element uh, in the right hand side. Like for this case, if you consider seven, in the right hand side of seven, the elements are four, three, five. So no greater element are there. So we have to store zero. So for that, what I am doing, if gem pickle to one, for the next iteration, simply we can do gem pickle to zero. But if Jump not equal to 1 that means jump equal to 0 because we have initialized jump equal to 0 right so that means we have not find any greater element that is this condition is not at all satisfied for any cases so in such case b of temp equal to 0 we have to do because we are storing 0 right in that case if you are not finding any element in the right hand side which is just greater than the element so and temp plus plus to move to the next uh, in the array okay this is our array uh, um, that is index okay and after that return b that's all so this is the algorithm very simple uh, always try to work with um, uh, linked list if question comes then always uh, map the value or the uh, data present in the node in an array list then process the array list and store or modify uh, the linked list uh, value according to the processed array list elements okay this is one of the simplest way see it is accepted okay uh, and here are some statistics also you can see next challenges also came you can do the if you able to understand the algorithm you can implement the same program in your favorable language whether that may be c plus plus c or ruby or php whatever okay i'm going to post the same code in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching